in our lives sometimes unwelcome events take place and they change us to a great extent. Today's story, The Lucky Stricken, shows how. Hello everyone, I'm Riswan and welcome to my channel. If you are new or haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do it now by clicking the subscribe button and pressing the bell icon for reminders of my upcoming videos. So, the unwanted bad events that arrive out of nowhere teach us many things too. But the bad events that snitch our loved ones are unbearable. The story in focus today portrays how serious the separation of our family can be. Let's listen and read along to find out what impact this loss has on Haji Gul, the main character in the story. After watching and listening to the story, one of my readers will review the story. Let's proceed. The Luck Stricken Author Rizwan Ahmed Memon It was March 3rd, 2005. I was reading a novel when someone called at the door saying, Oh Moldy Bashir Wo! I understood who it was by the voice and the name he used while calling. He used the name of my father. I answered him, Ayo! which means coming in Sindhi. He called two or three times. His name was Haji Gul, a cobbler who wandered the streets mending the shoes of the villagers. He asked me if there were any shoes that needed repairing in the house. I went and brought some shoes that my mother had put aside to be repaired. After he fixed the shoes, I asked him, how much money do I owe you? Whatever, any amount, he replied. He repaired shoes for the villagers and took very little money from them. In his youth, he wasn't poor and mentally unstable. However, he became so when he lost his wife and son. Even though he knew my father had died many years ago, whenever he came over, he would call out my father's name. I feel like he invoked my father's name deliberately. I felt a kind of happiness when I heard my father's name. Perhaps the cobbler also felt good when he used the name. My mother had told me that the man was very dear to my father. The village children often teased Haji Ghul. They threw stones at him, so he mostly used to sit under the trees at Padro, which was an area near the park in the village. I used to cross that area when I would come back from school during summer. I often found him lying on the earth with a palm straw bag under his head as a pillow. He kept thread, needles, and other shoe repair tools in the bag. On those hot summer days, he found comfort in the dense shadows of the trees. Many times, I wanted to sit with him there and chat, but I never did because of the villagers. My mother often told me about his life. According to her, he was a prosperous man. He had two sons. Once, he went to Mecca for pilgrimage with his family. His wife went missing during that trip. No one could find her. The villagers said she had run away with an Arab man. Only God knows what truly happened, but the loss of his wife was devastating for him. He came back to Pakistan with his sons. He had barely recovered from the sorrow when one of his young sons was run over by a donkey cart. His son died. This is when Haji Ghul lost his senses. Since that day, happiness turned its back on Haji Ghul. His tears dried. He stopped taking baths, changing clothes, and talking to others. Under those trees, he talked to himself, laughed, and wept. Eventually, I finished my education 
and after four years, I returned home from university. I had attended university in Jamshuro. For many days, I hadn't heard anyone call, Omovi Bashiwo. So I asked my mother about Haji Gul. She told me that he died two years ago. Still, that call echoes in my ears when I read novels in the morning or during summer evenings. In life, we are surrounded by many people who have great stories to share. If we look beyond their faces and deep into their eyes, we can get a sense of their tragedies. If we pay close attention to their voice, we can feel the pain in their hearts. Instead of making fun of these people, we should learn from their lives and actions because life can bring difficulties upon any of us. The story Lacustre Ken is simple and interesting and inspiring. I love two things so much about the story. First the line, Oh Mori Bashir Ho. I don't know why. But to me, it's such a beautiful line that I have been saying it out loud uncontrollably since the day I read it. The other thing about the story is its structure. It's autobiographical, which makes me to recall my own past. It just drowns me in nostalgia. It's full of lovely memories. Finally, the message you get at the end is so thought provoking you just pause, reflect, and meditate over your life and people around you. It's just lovely. I hope you enjoyed this story and the review. Soon I will be back with a new video. If you like what you have seen it had, please recommend my channel to your friends and family. Thank you for now and goodbye.